So, ever since we all had the chance to play with Cascadeau, we've all seen the possibilities that comes with it, as physics driven and assisted motion tends to bring a more true to life performance to animation. And today, we're seeing a set of new tools and features for Cascadeau as version 2024.1 is on its way. And version 2024.1 is planned to be released sometime in March, with some cool features which would enable editing and making changes to any animation easy. The upcoming release is poised to ship with three major features, which includes animation retargeting, animation on baking, and the auto physics upgrade. And for retargeting in Cascado, this would be more of a copy and paste feature, where animations can easily be copied from one character and pasted into another with the retarget copy, which simply copies the entire animation from the source character and the target paste which would paste the animation to the target character. And this is quite an interesting approach, as it's pretty different from other tools. Although, to be fair, there are a set of tools that actually does retargeting slightly different. And this includes Character Creator and iClone from the folks at Relution. As you can simply click and drag an animation into a character and automatically it gets retargeted. And the way this actually works is pretty interesting across the board. Of course, there's also the folks at Heath that are currently working on some interesting tools as well. But generally, the whole idea of simplifying the retargeting workflow is a welcomed one. And for Cascado, this new feature, especially for multi-characters, is a welcome development. Although, this only works on humanoids and it accounts for various proportions and skeletal structure. And like most retargeting tools that relies on profiles, this also uses the auto-posing rig from Cascado, which can be automatically created by using the quick rigging tool. Animation on baking is also a new feature coming to Cascado 2024.1 as it easily and simply turns any baked animation into an editable animation. From motion capture data, generated animation and so on, this automatically determines the keyframes and chooses the best interpolation for the intervals. However, this has a non-automatic mode that allows for three different steps to be taken separately. And this includes placing the keyframes based on the fulcrum points, choosing interpolation and placing additional keyframes, and adjusting the autoposing rig. And with this, you do have a good number of control over the entire process. The Autophysics upgrade is also another beautiful addition to Cascadeau as it's received a good number of updates in the past. And recently, we also have some more interesting ones. All of these updates are both visual and functional. In 2024.1, animators will be able to interact with object and environment assets. And of course, this includes static and moving objects. And with further refinement, the Autophysics now ships with only four sliders, which are namely the smooth trajectory, which smoothens the trajectory of the center of mass, the smooth rotation, which affects the general rotation of the character to make it more inertial, the compensation motion, which allows the character to use limbs to aid the movement of the character, and finally, the secondary motion. This helps to create overlaps, and these overlaps can be shakes and bounces that can be applied to body parts. And with these new features, Cascadeau 2024.1 is off to a good start. Additionally, the mobile version of Cascadeau is still in view and we're currently working on making a video so you guys can see how it works. So, this is it. For those who are thinking about exploring or checking out these, then links to them is going to be in the description so do well to check them out. Cascado is looking super nice and for those who are thinking about exploring 2024.1, sometime in March this will be available for all. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.